Hi, my name is Robin Esteb, and I teach AP Chemistry here at Burbank Jesuit. And I have been teaching AP Chemistry for approximately seven years, but I've been teaching chemistry at the high school level for over 20 years. The goal of AP Chemistry really is to give students an experience of taking two semesters of general chemistry at a college level and hopefully allowing them to get AP credit, uh, which could earn college credit for introductory chemistry at a university. A reason a student might want to take AP chemistry is that they enjoyed their sophomore year of chemistry or their first year of chemistry. Uh, they really enjoyed it. They love science. And a lot of my students really have a desire to work in the medical field. And knowing that chemistry and science is something that is needed in order to be a, uh, to work in the medical field and that it's very science heavy when you get to college. So just kind of getting that experience is important for a lot of my students. The type of assignment your student would expect to have in assessments, uh, we have a lot of the normal things, a lot of readings. So there's a lot of readings that they have to do before coming to class. Uh, problem sets, laboratory experiments. Uh, we have an expectation that there's 25% 20 of our time spent in the lab. So there will be a lot of time for laboratory investigations and lab write-ups. Uh, typically, several quizzes and uh, tests will be assigned and we'll spend some time just trying to take a test that's very similar to what they would expect to take when they take the AP exam. So trying to simulate that experience of taking the AP exam. I think the biggest surprise for students is the amount of time that it takes outside of class to be a successful AP student. Most of my students say they range somewhere between four to six hours per week outside of class time uh, in order to feel like they've really got the material down and to feel like they've been successful. Whether that's reading, working on problem sets, uh, studying for tests, quizzes, uh, or working on pre-lab or post-lab. And a lot of my students choose to work together in small collaborative groups, which I highly suggest. Advice for the course, I feel like a successful AP chemistry student is someone who is very independent in their learning and very self-motivated. Uh, you cannot be self, you can't be motivated by the teacher. Uh, you have to really want this for yourself. If you've completed honors chemistry and algebra two with at least a B or better, and you're feeling really confident in those two areas, uh, that helps in order to be successful. If you're actively engaged in classroom discussions, working with your lab partner in collaborative um, environment, that's definitely a plus. If you come to class prepared and you make efficient use of class time, which is really important because our actual meeting time is um, a little scarce or it's going to feel a little scarce. So being ready to go from the moment you walk in the door is very important. And making a habit to devote time every day to at least looking at what you did in AP chemistry or what's coming up is very important. The AP chemistry exam happens in early May. Uh, it's usually the first exam. Uh, this year it is the first exam of the AP set of exams and it's uh, in the afternoon. The exam itself is three hours and 15 minutes long and it happens in two sections. Section one is 60 multiple choice questions. It's about 90 minutes and it counts for 50% of the exam. And the other half is uh, FRQ, free response questions. That takes about 105 minutes and there are seven all together counts as 50% of the test. So we try to simulate that type of testing environment as much as possible so that students feel comfortable before taking the AP exam. In order to be successful for the exam and asking past students, your student really needs to make sure they understand the amount of time it's going to take outside of class. Um, the amount of material, material that we cover is extensive and we have a limited classroom time. So they 
can expect to spend a considerable amount of time outside of class reading, quizzing themselves, watching videos, working on practice problems, and completing laboratory post-lab assignments. If you have any questions about AP Chemistry, please feel free to reach out to me, um, either you or your student, uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye.